could you talk to me about um, open-ended questions and the role of that in the PPI? Asking open-ended questions, that's like kind of in the, in the same vein of like active listening. You know, there's a, of course a string of symptomatic questions that you can ask like, have you had a fever? Do you know, have you lost any, lost or gained any weight? And you know, you're getting clinical information from that. But asking an open-ended question like, tell me more about that, or how has this been affecting your life? That will elicit so much more revealing information from the patient. And also it makes the patient feel as though they're being active in the situation. That goes for uh, asking the question also, did I miss anything? Because in simulated encounters, you know, sometimes that's a, a bit of a cop out. Yeah. Uh, I think like you said earlier, um, and a lot of times SPs like can't necessarily answer that because they're grading on at the learner asking specific questions. But in a real life setting, that is actually an incredibly useful question because sometimes a patient will have something ailing them that they don't necessarily think is relevant, for example. And then if the physician asks, did I miss anything? And they bring up, oh, you know, actually my neck has been hurting in this one really specific spot. That might, they have no idea how that's connected to their chief complaint, but yeah. it could be a clue yeah. into, you know, what is going on. And again, that also emphasizes that the patient knows their own body and it makes um, the relationship between the physician and the patient much less hierarchical. Mm, it makes yeah. it, it's a much more even playing field when the doctor acknowledges that um, the patient has something to share with them yeah, as well. That they may not, that they may have missed and it's like allowing the patient to guide the interaction as well. Exactly.